CSGO brings up a massive update that keeps players happy. Final Fantasy VII Remake coming to PC is very much confirmed and Apex Legends won't be having permanent solos mode. Oof, there's so many crazy stories happening in the gaming world and all of that will be covered in this new episode of Top Gaming News. So CSGO comes with a massive update that nerfed down a gun that a lot of players are happy about. And that gun is SG553 which has been nerfed finally because a lot of people are requesting to nerf that gun and that's finally happened. So now the rate of fire has been reduced and its accuracy has also been reduced. But that's not the only thing because AUG gun has also increased its accuracy when you're aiming without using the scope. But when you use the scope, then the accuracy has been decreased. We also have M4A1S whose price has been reduced to $2,900. Deagle has actually increased its accuracy when you jump. But when you land, the accuracy recovery has been reduced. And Bison of all guns has an update that is increase in armor penetration. That is quite interesting. They also did some other miscellaneous updates but they also updated the maps uh, such as Anubis which has moved to competitive mode from scrimmage mode and also has made the performance better in that map. The wall by door to A side balcony is now, well according to the blog posts, is bingly bangable. What does that mean? Well I did a search on Google and found out that it means it's wall bangable. So funny to use that word. Now Overpass has reworked Bomb A side backdrop as well as Mirage has some fixes with the clipping issues and the vision under the truck on Bomb side B has been blocked. Now these are some big changes coming from CSGO all at once and as I said players are very happy to see SG553 and AUG both of these guns are completely nerfed down and with Valorant coming along well it's better that CSGO are doing these updates. Again I know that CSGO players won't just leave to go and play Valorant because Valorant is more like a casual CSGO game but still everybody knows that CSGO will have more new players coming in and it will have more and more tournaments in the future. It's just a game that will not stop for I don't know how long. Now here's another game that we have been waiting for a long amount of years that is Dead Island 2. Yeah that trailer that came out few years ago that is still on the news because apparently the job listing for that game says that the game will be present in current and future consoles. Now this job listing comes from Damn Buster Studios. This is a new studio that will be working on Dead Island 2. And the job listing is for Art Director which says groundbreaking title for current and future platforms. And in total there are 8 job titles in which one of them only say that particular line. It's kind of weird but it is what it is. Now it's funny because Dead Island 2 has been in development for so long and even the developers have changed hands like 3 times already and now it is to such an extent that new generation consoles will be also arriving and still this game will be in development. I mean it could be possible that this new gen consoles will thrive the team to make this game as fast as possible or make this game playable in the next gen consoles. But the more I think about it the more questions comes in my mind. For example, will this game be ever out? How will this game play? Will it be like Left 4 Dead or something else? Now it's only a matter of time because they want to hire new people which means they want to finish this project. <laughs> Freaking awesome! Let's go! Dude chill, I got this! Okay let's talk about Final Fantasy 7 Remake which is already out on PlayStation 4 and everyone is enjoying it. Come on, it's a remake of an old game that everybody already enjoyed so if a remake comes out, it's enjoyable, you have to play it. And for PC players, unfortunately, there has been no announcement that it's coming to PC. But apparently, a trailer reveals that it is actually coming to PC. Now this trailer is not in English because it's in PlayStation France YouTube channel where the producer of the remake, Yoshinori Kitase, has given a message about players who want to play Final Fantasy VII Remake. But there's nothing impressive in this video but the moment the gameplay starts, at the bottom of the screen it is written in French, gameplay recorded on PC. Now yes, Square Enix has not announced a PC version of the game but according to this trailer it's very much possible that the game is coming to PC. It might be also possible that it still is in development mode and has not completely been built yet. And moreover this game is exclusive for PS4 only till one full year which means after that only the game will come to PC eventually. Now of course exclusivity sucks because whoever wants to play these new games they can't because now they have to wait for few months or one year so that they can play in their own platform. The same happened with Metro Exodus. The same is happening with Control at the moment. But these devs cannot also do anything because they have their contract that is signed that they have to do some exclusive with Sony and such and such which is just terrible. 
Now Final Fantasy VII Remake is a remake to Final Fantasy VII the old game and that game was very popular so a lot of people are already playing the game. And not only that, this game took 5 years to release. Anyone here who plays Final Fantasy, are you guys excited to play Final Fantasy VII Remake on PS4? And also is it okay if I start my first Final Fantasy game from Final Fantasy VII Remake? Now last week I told that Apex Legends will most probably have a permanent solo mode because permanent duos mode are here. But it seems like I was wrong. Now the reason why solos is not being permanent is because apparently EA has told that it doesn't fit with the co-op operation in Apex Legends. Now to be honest, they're not wrong because this game was initially launched as a squad of 3 players where you have to coordinate with each other to win the game. That was the main goal of this game, to have that co-op operation going on in the entirety of the game so that your squad can win. And quite frankly, it is fun that way. Now again, that's my opinion. What do you think about Apex Solos? Do you think that's fun? Now last year for the first time they reduced the numbers from 3 to 2 making it duos and with that they saw a positive effect in regards of queue time and gameplay system. But when the player count was reduced to 1 then the co-op framework was completely destroyed and the gameplay also changed. And this saw a negative effect on player retention that is less amount of people wanted to play the solo mode. Again they also say something that I agree on that is legends work better with a squad. And being solo, those abilities, well, they become kind of useless. And in Apex Legends, you can actually kill a whole squad with one ultimate. So that's how the game has been built. So having solos mode as a permanent thing may not be the best idea. Now EA has also been working on crossplay according to rumors and that is a perfect thing to add because crossplay always benefits the players. You can see Call of Duty doing so well with crossplay. You have PlayStation 4 players, Xbox players and PC players playing together Call of Duty. It is so much fun. Crossplay in general it's fun because it doesn't force anyone to play a game in particular platform so that they can play with their friends. In this way you can play in any platform you want and still will be able to play with your friends. And if they add this in Apex, that would be fun. Now let's go towards a survival game called Grounded from Obsidian where you become an Ant-Man and you are either friends with the ant or not friends with the ant and you survive literally in your backyard. Now this game will be coming to Xbox Preview, Xbox Game Pass as well as on Steam as an early access. Now someone in Twitter said that they're afraid of spiders and because of that, they won't be playing this game as much. So Obsidian comes up with a tweet saying that hey, you don't like spiders? Okay, we will have a mode called Arachnophobia mode which will let you play the game without spiders. These are such good devs, they want the players to feel as comfortable as they can while they're playing the game. If this will be done in horror games and all the ghosts and the monsters will be taken away and then this game will become like a walking simulator. Just walk from one checkpoint to the other, do certain things, come back, that's the whole game. Now the game is also coming to Xbox Preview which I mentioned earlier. Now in this Xbox Preview devs can publish their game while they are still technically in development. So you can think of this as an early access in Steam but it's an Xbox. Of course early access is good because you can then take players feedback and shape the game in a better way but early access tend to stay in early access for a long time. We have seen with games like Daisy or Scum that have stayed in early access for a long amount of time. Not only that, early access also include a lot of bugs, a lot of performance issues and I hope that Grounded does not have the same because I really like the concept behind this game. You become so small, you have ants around you, you have spiders around you and you're surviving in a backyard of all places. It's not an apocalypse, it's not the end of the world, it's just you are small and you are in the backyard. Now Obsidian is a really good studio because they have made Outer Worlds, Fallout New Vegas which are really good games. So my hopes are high for Grounded and I hope that it performs good when it comes out. Speaking of Xbox games, Xbox Game Pass on PC is now having more new games with Football Manager and Alien Isolation being two of the biggest games coming to Xbox Game Pass for PC. And also Stranger Things 3 which is a 2D-ish horror game and people have told that it is a fun game. Don't worry, I won't talk about Xbox Game Pass in detail because I've already talked about a lot of times. But I will say that it is an affordable subscription that you should be getting to play a variety of games. Even Epic Games is bringing some new free games. Right now they have Close to the Sun and Sherlock Home Crimes and Punishment available for free till 16th April and after 16th April you will have Just Cause 4 which is make people fly however and whenever game. And I actually thought at this moment that maybe there's Just Cause 5 but that isn't so that is a good thing because Just Cause isn't a bad game but there isn't much to do. 
All you do is just make people fly, make cars fly, make yourself invisible to physics. That's it. Well, those were some of the crazy stories that we covered in this episode of Top Gaming News. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button, click on subscribe and enable that notification bell icon so that you can watch more videos coming in GC. Make sure to follow us on all social media platforms and join Gamer Connect community on Facebook where we got so many gamers that you would love to play with them and talk about different games. My name is Gamer Manus. You can even check out my own channel. Link in the description below and I will see you guys in the next episode.